Whenever you want to hear my story, come see me. Hey guys and gals, good morning and welcome back to Pal Plays Pikmin 4. Last time we had another last frame scenario, or this one was close to it, but it was so close. So close we got a, a blue onion at the very, very end of the recording. Today, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do. I'm kind of running out of... of loose ends to tie up, which is nice. It's really nice because when we come out of this, we're going to be able to focus on the story. The episodes will be really, really tight, really uh, straight to the action. So I guess I'll just, um, let's talk to, let's talk to Dalmo again. And by Dalmo, I mean Olimar, because that's all I care about. The Baldy Long Legs. A shaggy long legs that has lost its hair. It has similarities to the beady long legs, but it doesn't secrete wax from its exoskeleton and thus lacks its cousin's unique patterning. Patterning. The absence of wax also allows small insects to climb its legs without slipping. Its central orb splits horizontally, but researchers have yet to determine the significance of this difference. Why is there a marker on the map? Do I have a marker on the map and thus it stayed? Why is there a marker? Oh, it's- oh, it's aluminal. Okay, that makes sense. The blizzarding blowhog. This specimen is actually a snowy blowhog, but that lethal- that lethal expeller of icy air. However, it's grown to a gigantic size thanks to an uh, endocrine abnormality. Unlike the titan blowhog- The what? Uh, this condition does not sentence the blizzarding blowhog with a shorter lifespan. In fact, its lifespan is actually much longer than that of the average snowy blowhog. The organs that produce the dry ice are also enlarged in this specimen, perhaps in order to make production more efficient. Uh, what is the Titan Blowhog? He's mentioning a, a species that I have yet to encounter. Is that just the big version of the Fiery Blowhog, or is there just one we haven't seen? Ooh! What does he say about the Arctic Cannon Beetle? Upon reaching maturity, the blowhole on its head closes, leaving in its place the pointed crest of the arctic cannon beetle's shell. In order to get enough food in nutrient-deficient environments, adult specimens start breathing through their mouths. Some experts have posited that this adaptation caused the species to lose territorial uh, competitions with the armored cannon uh, larva, driving it into colder environments. Though this beetle has increased suction strength, it must ventilate via a spiracle on its abdomen and open its shell to avoid rapid body inflation. Oh, this isn't the um, the cloaking bear on it. It's a completely different enemy, the joust mite. I always forget that. Again, my memory when it comes to Pikmin 3 enemies is very foggy, just because of the, the mechanisms by which they deliver lore in that game. Back to the serene shores. It is my goal today to beat this today. We have two ship part roots remaining and one onion, apparently. Let's go. Now, there is an added pressure in this recording session because I'm seeing if I can't possibly record all the rest of his, uh, his shipwreck tales in one session. But as I do it, I think at the very beginning of the series, I mentioned how I had drinks of the session. I'll go and get some sort of usually alcoholic drink to accompany me as I record. That usually aids me when it comes to interacting with the captains or the castaways. But here, uh, <laughs> this requires strategy and less humor. But I still have a drink of the session and I'm intending to polish it off because I typically don't drink during the week. And so I don't like having that, that fridge space or that pantry space full of this alcohol. So I have some Mike's hard lemon, uh, hard strawberry lemonades with me. I've been going through it. I think I have two left. I intend to finish them this session, which is um, a little bit dangerous. It means that while I am warmed up, while I have the experience of having beat two pick, beaten two Pikmin games and having been playing Pikmin four for this for this long now. Uh, I am actively getting worse. My judgment is getting worse. So we're gonna see. Okay, before there were boulders I had to worry about. Let's see if that's the case anymore. It doesn't appear to be. Take flight, and now fall to the ground. And let me see, stick it up. Okay, jump back on. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna jump back on. I'm going to use the sea stick. Ah, uh, we're gonna swarm that actually. 
that is the proper kind of. That worked. It worked. I lost a couple of Pikmin. That's fine. Uh, I'm sorry, Pikmin. Okay, I'm not going to get that yet because I'm holding out for there to be a base. Ooh. This is very strange. Jump down. Break this. A bomb rock. Sweet. Uh, Moss, are you smart enough to run around? I don't think you are. You're smart enough to do that. We're gonna we're gonna do that. Switch and uh, Moss should catch up. I always forget that Moss is a she. Uh oh. Uh oh. There is a base, but at what cost? I do have bomb rocks. I'm not sure if I should use them. That's a sovereign bull blacks. Also, oh man, can I? You know what? I'm pausing. I'm pausing real quick. Can I just say? I gotta pause and say this. Can I just say, as I pound my lap, that it is so cool that they elaborated on how the Pikmin 2 Bull Blacks are so weak in comparison to the Pikmin 1 Bull Blacks by saying, no, 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 that was basically like a, a sea turtle. Like that was that was a 200 or 300 year old Bull Blacks and we're going to come up with a name for them, Sovereign Bull Blacks. Can I just say how cool, I have to do this while pause because I'm not, I'm not going to be able to play while I talk about it. Can I talk about how cool that is? I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in, like, the actual, like, story section of this game. Some of the decisions they made tying in old bits of lore. But it is so cool that they did that. I love that choice. It, it, rec it like, it doesn't, it, it explains so much. And it's, it's a natural progression of being like, oh, we didn't know everything about this world. And now we have explanations for these things that were game design decisions at the time but now we have a lore reason for it it's so cool i love pikmin i, I love some of the the world building choices they made in this game also i really wish i could get this guy entirely in frame for thumbnails there we go that's kind of that kind of works uh do i have a bomb rock i do open your mouth Open up. It worked. It worked. And I was just barely out of range. I am not going to use my C stick because prior experience has taught me that any. Any. Oh, the secret safe already? Okay. Any Pikmin on the bottom of this guy uh, will meet with an unfortunate end, even if they're attached to him. Uh, who are. We have 130 yellows? I don't even... What? <laughs> I, d <laughs> I just never registered that. Our reds are our lowest number Pikmin. Really? Go. Help. Help with that. Uh, and that takes 50. Actually, let's just do this. Moss. Get it. Do it. Congratulations. Uh, I don't know if we can... We can get up there. We need plastic, though. We, we can get it. I, I really need to take more time out of my schedule to get plastic. I don't need that. Not Pikmin, plastic. Because so frequently in this Let's Play have I been shorthanded on that. There's five. I need to kill... I need to kill that Joust Mite first. Look at me using the proper names of enemies that weren't in Pikmin 1 or 2. Look at me! Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna split the party. Uh, I wanna take... I want to take blues. And I want moss to take reds and yellows. Reds to fight this guy. Uh, I don't actually need yellows to fight him. Die. And then yellows to grab that. Okay, and then, do I, what do I need to break this for? Plastic? I mean, I'll jump down. I have, I have a lot of Pikmin. Sh certainly this is gonna work out. Oh, let's kill you. Look at you sneaking around like the boogeyman die. Okay. What am I doing up here? There's plastic. There's shit part. Oh, that's 
probably the ship part, actually. Or that is. Does that lead anywhere? Ow. I should have seen that coming. I'm kind of over-relying on dash, but when you don't have a swarm mechanic, you kind of... Or a C-stick mechanic. That's kind of the rough part. Uh, yeah, deal with that. Ooh, nice. Sure. Again, don't have a swarm mechanic. This is really rough. Okay, is there any reason for me to be here? I'm not really seeing one, you know? Like, this this particular area... I don't know what I just heard, but didn't sound good. This particular area doesn't really seem like it has much to it. Jump. Jump. Okay. Well, in which case, uh, oh, I guess we can deal with that. Reds. Apparently, we need more numbers of reds. Not really, though. I mean, let's be honest. Okay. The tides are down. Now, what is up here? Is it the final ship part? We only needed two, but there is another onion here. That's the important thing. Wait for it. Stop with the bubbles. see something there. I don't like that. Is that a giant snail? I think it is. Can I lure you away? Okay. Didn't need to. What is that? Oh, it's just, it's just you. Die, dude. Get with that. Get with that. Okay, cool. That's the final part. So now we're just looking for this mysterious onion that's somewhere. I have no idea where this thing's supposed to be. Um, we're gonna have to turn over a lot of nooks and crannies for it. It's not down there. I already looked. Where have I not been? It could be there. It could be in there, too. I actually never really panned the camera over there. We know it's not here. I, it's probably not here. We can't get up there. Look there. This is weird, because this is something that the treasure gauge won't show. I'm just going to have to be kind of smart with it. I mean, thankfully, luckily, it does not matter. It doesn't matter where it is. Like, we're going to get the last ship part here, and then we're going to, you know, crack open a bottle of champagne, of space champagne, which is way nicer than normal champagne. But... It would be nice for completion's sake, knowing that there's another onion, if I knew where this thing was. We expand our range, and we're able to go to the final area, which... I wonder if it will be a new area. I wonder if it'll be like the final trial. At last, I've collected all the ship parts in this area. I'm only a few pieces away from a fully repaired SS Dolphin. I suppose tomorrow I'll explore a new area and to locate the remaining parts, which are seven, I think? Oh, we're gonna get those pots. That could have it. But while we're down here... There's my Northwestern accent coming out. While... While we're down here... That's something that I... Do you ever have that kind of, like, disillusionment moment with a reality where... You hear something that somebody else says, or even something that you say, and you're like, Wow, that is my accent, isn't it? I... As somebody who has commentated for ten years now... Goodness sakes. It's... It's a common occurrence where I'll catch myself and kick myself for saying- I did not mean to do that. For saying while. Please bring him down. For saying while, for saying- it's a lot of the other just little- little, like, slurs we do. Okay, where? Huh. It's not in the bucket. I've really explored the full castle. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? You. Actually, what is, what is my current... Okay, I, I do I do have the same, same thing. You're gonna use the idler's alert, and I'm gonna keep looking without you. Oh, hi. Maybe you have it. Maybe you're an onion. Are you an onion? Look at that. Look at that dodge. I am actually a pro. Um, uh, 
It's not there. I know it's not there. I don't know where this thing is. And there is one, right? Oh, it doesn't say anymore. Is there a way for me to see? No. That stinks. There is one somewhere. I've searched this pretty thoroughly. Uh, Olimar. I want you to investigate whether or not we actually can get up there or not. Uh, and then Moss, what I want you to investigate... Been there. Been there. I was there. Strangely enough, that didn't have anything in it. I looked in there. That That's not... That isn't anything. I wonder if it's buried somewhere. But I don't know. Unless... Oh, you know what it probably was? The Flarlick was probably the onion. That's probably what it was. I probably have everything. I mean, I will keep looking. Just in case. Like, I'm gonna go... Here, because it's decently high up. Okay. I don't think... Yeah, there. I'm not even seeing anything there that would denote the ability for me to climb that... Oh, uh, moss kind of skating. Yeah, I don't... I don't think so, Chief. In which case, should I just focus on plastic? Olimar, go that way. And you're gonna get some plastic, buddy. Oh, you're a Wywog. Uh... Yeah, there's nothing... There's no way for me to get up there. I don't need more Pikmin. That's a pellet posy over there. I think the, uh... I think the Flarlick was... the objective. Disband. You guys grab that. And then I'm gonna move the base like a smart person. One thing that the the C stick definitely does really well um, in other Pikmin games is because the the programming of the Pikmin just isn't as good, uh, and they get caught on a lot of different surfaces. It's great for micromanaging your squad constantly. Um, it's not needed as much here. Like I'm not finding my my life completely altered because. The, the C stick is here, although part of that is the fact that it's tied to the, uh, it's tied to the camera. Like, it's the same button. That's super annoying. I think we're, I think we're fine. I think the Flarlick was it. I think we have everything. We have a lot of Pikmin. Oh, I should have, oh, I should have focused on the spicy spray. Oh, that's what I should have done. That would have been so good, because I don't have any right now, and we're about to go into the final area, which, whatever that entails, I'm about to find out, and I'm a little bit scared of it. Okay, we did it. Serene Shores conquered again! It was it was also cool that they put the secret safe in a Sovereign Bull Blacks, like, denoting the, the, the lore reveal of that. Um, also just... The, the reference. The reference is, is very respectful. And it means that however this is ending isn't cookie cutter to Pikmin 1. It's going to be a new ending, a new boss, something different, which is good because that's probably going to be giving us some connective tissue to this game. Okay, secret safe, automatic gear. Bunch of Pikmin added. We're at 500. Yeah. Swallow. Okay, that makes sense. I think I, ma I made a comment at the very beginning of this, not knowing that we got upgrades, uh, wondering why Olimar gave us the ability, gave Ochi the ability to swallow, touting it as Moss's ability, and then Moss didn't have it, but this now makes sense. And we get Air Armor Plus. Cool. At long last, my goal of collecting all the missing ship dolphin ship parts is within reach. According to the SS Dolphin's radar, the last pieces are inside some sort of gu giant structure. Oh, that oh that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Okay, whatever. My life support system is reaching its limit. This is my last chance. Seven days left. 